Claire, I'm Han. And I'm Kat, and we're Brews and Reviews. attempt at the cosplay challenge um we didn't film anything because oh my god are we really <laughs> awkward yeah um yeah i chose to be clary but sort of just more shadow huntery and yeah. like i just don't know it's sort of like a mix of it's Isabel about and style Clary. but clary's hair yeah i can't i can't do anything about my hair guys or no. i would have been Isabel. so and i literally got this sprung on me as soon as i got home from work i was like come on I literally opened the door to her, like, brandishing two swords at me. So I was like, wah! So I literally had to think up of something on the spot. Um, so, I mean, I came up with the cringy Anastasia Steele from Fifty Shades of Grey. But everyone says that you look like her. They do. So it was, like, a natural choice. But I didn't have time to curl my hair, so I had to do it straight. But, yeah. Anyway, we, we, we joined in. That's what counts. Yes, exactly. We tried, we tried. Yeah, and now we've got to go and, well, first thing we're going to do is get in our pyjamas because it's not about sitting all shadow huntery in the house. Um, and all pushed up, as your dad said. Yeah, or slut, <laughs> as my mum said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Bit of both. Yeah. I don't know how you can mix them two together, but hey-ho. We apparently have done that. Yeah. Though. Anyway, yeah, so then after we've got in our pyjamas, we're going to read because I haven't done any reading today. No, I, I haven't done much. I've done about 20 odd pages. I know that's really bad. So we are going on a marathon. This video is probably going to be really short and, you know, sorry, we, we need to read. We need to catch yeah. up, guys. So, Kat, you came up with another idea. I mean, it's not supposed to happen. It just did. And the facial hair grew. So. <laughs> I'm not even sorry, guys. Like, hang on. <laughs> sorry, even. We don't need a close-up of the bad pirate hair, do we? Bad, fake pirate hair. <laughs> well, we were just about to put our PJs on, and Kate was like, do you know what? I had an idea really wrong. Well, I should be Claire from Outlander, and Kate should be Jamie. And I was like, oh, my God. I was like, how could you have not told me this? Because I didn't want to be a bloke again. And then I was like, actually, I kind of do want right, to be a bloke. You love it. Fun. You love it. Yeah, but just so you know, I don't cross-dress that often. It's just <laughs> happening recently. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we thought we've just got to do it. We've got to do it. Um, we enlisted your brother's help. Yeah, he, he wasn't happy pictures. about it. No. But he did a very good job. He did, so he thank did. you, Callum. Yes, thank you, Callum. Um, but yeah. <laughs> we so, are um, actually going to go and put our pyjamas on, like we said before. We are, yeah. Because it's uh, pyjama time. Pyjama time. We always tend to do that, don't we? And it's it like, just happens. It's just something that happens. Yeah. We need to go in pyjama time now we and then read. And I'm going to yeah. hang up my sword for the day because I had a lot of action today. <laughs> anyway, see you later. Bye. Okay guys, so the beard is staying because as you know by now, I'm lazy and I like my facial hair. <laughs> anyway, we thought we'd do a little bit of a wrap up of so far of what we've done and yeah. what challenges we've covered, given that we're kind of midway through the Booktubeathon and Biannual Bibliothon. And today hasn't been a great day for reading for us both, has it? We've been a bit like, rubbish. Really bad, so, so it's going to be a bit boring on that front. Yeah, so why don't we start with you? Okay, so the first book I read was Flame and the Mist. And that covered, obviously, the group book in the biannual bibliophon and the hype book in the book tube fun. Um, that was, like, 400 pages, so... And then the second book I read was Boy in the Striped Pajamas. So, from the biannual bin bibliophon, that was read from a host's favourite genre, which was the historical fiction. And for the book tube fun, it was to book with a person... Oh, it was a to read a book with a person on the cover. Ah, yes. And then now you're on... And now... Oh, actually, and it was a book-to-movie adaptation. Oh, so you crossed off three of the biannual bibliothon ones and two of the book ones. Yes. Yeah. Um, and then I'm on Heartless. I'm, like, 199 pages into Heartless. Um, which covers... Oops, sorry, guys, I just can't, oh, can't hold things properly. <laughs> which covers a throwback from... 
buy your bibliophone, um, a book you've seen somewhere other than YouTube on buying your bibliophone, and a book you bought for the cover for booktube -a Yeah. <clears throat> and how many pages have you read so far in total? Ooh, total I have read 823. See, I think that's quite good going, yeah, considering right. how much we'd usually read. I guess yeah. that's quite a lot. Yeah. Um, for me, <clears throat> I have... The first book I read was Of Fire and Stars um, by Audrey Colthurst. Uh, that covered the LGBTQIA plus book in the biannual bibliothon. Unfortunately, I was a bit stupid and finished it before the booktubeathon started, so it doesn't count towards booktubeathon, but does count towards biannual bibliothon. The second book that I read was Cat's Cradle by Kurt Vonnegut. It crosses off a banned book on the biannual bibliothon and doesn't cross anything off for booktubeathon because I'm daft. Um, I was clever about this. You were, I'm not clever about this at all. And then the third book that I read was Flame in the Mist and it covers the same ones it did for Hannah. It covers the group book for the biannual bibliothon and the hyped book for the booktubeathon. Now, the next one I'm going to be reading is She's Never Coming Back by Hans Koppel, which is going to cover a book that I've seen somewhere other than YouTube um, for the biannual bibliothon, and it's also going to cover a book I bought for the cover and a book with a character that's very different from me in it. So, it, or in the booktubeathon. So yeah, that's going to be... Uh, hopefully check off some challenges for me. In total I've read 987 pages, so I'm I'm counting that as an achievement. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um so yeah, that's what we've done so far. We're hoping to read more and like actually just knuckle down and do some reading. Yeah. Because we'd have been a bit rubbish at that at the moment. Uh, so it's hard though, isn't it? Like really hard. Yeah, definitely. But especially like with work. Yeah, that is the hardest thing. Like, I'm looking forward to, at least with Booktubeathon, we've got the full weekend at the end. Like, and Binual Bibliothon, we've got the Saturday, so we can. We can do it! Yeah. We can do it! We can do it! Anyway, we guess, we'll see you guys tomorrow, and uh, yeah. Hopefully, we'll be a little bit more productive. Definitely. Except I'm going out for a leaving do tomorrow, so. I, admit, I think I might be going out. I don't know. We're, we'll we're we'll awful see. at this. I know. Why, why do all of our plans come at the busiest time for us? I don't know, it's just rubbish. Anyway, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Bye.